Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. When a vehicle is paid and it's funded in full, we take the unit down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer for sale. However, our YouTube videos we leave up at all times between both of our stores. So between our two locations, we probably shoot seven to eight of these a week times 12 weeks in a month, times as many years we've been doing this. There's a lot of videos on our channel. But uh, again, check our website for our most current inventory. Hankstersgarage.com, um, that is the newest addition to our family here in Daytona Beach. It's about four or five miles from our showroom. Uh, we sell automotive parts and accessories there, both in person and online. And then also, uh, we install automotive parts and accessories. So if you're watching one of these videos, maybe uh, you want a specific set of wheels, or you want a digital dash, or uh, you want to put air in this car we're about to present to you, vintage air, we do that. Um, lift kits, uh, anything you possibly think of uh, automotive accessory wise um, for your car, truck, or SUV. So check that out as well, hankstersgarage.com, Daytona Beach, Florida. So uh, today we have uh, one of the most, if not the most iconic muscle cars of all time, the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, let me tell you why this car is going to be a very desirable piece of inventory in our showroom. First of all, on the air cleaner, 396, it is a big block car. Um, we did verify that it is a 396, not a 454, so it is a 396. Uh, it does have a cowl tag up there, X44 car. Uh, it does have a cowl tag up there on the uh, driver's side firewall. Right below the firewall on the driver's side, you see that big gold uh, thing there. That is the brake booster telling you that the car does have uh, power brakes. Uh, power steering reservoir, the car does have power steering. Uh, no AC compressor over here, so there is no AC in the car, but like I said, if you need it, we can add it. Let's take a look at this uh, beautiful 69 Camaro. Silver in color with a black vinyl top. Guess what, it's also a four-speed car. So a four-speed big block 69 Camaro. Uh, paint is driver quality, but it's a very nice paint on the car. Uh, hood scoop, hood itself, tops of the fenders, everything's in really nice condition. Um, no uh, blemishes, no blistering, cracking, uh, no improper uh, areas of prep on the, on the paint work. Real, real nice paint on the, on the tops of the fenders and the hood. Uh, the SS badging in the center of the grill is like brand new. In fact, to me, the, the grill looks like it's pretty much brand new. Uh, same thing with the front bumper. If you notice the chrome, uh, the chrome's not flaking, uh, pitting, uh, no rust around the uh, bumper bolts, anything like that. Uh, the lower front spoiler there, the plastic front spoiler, for those of you that do not know, you know, obviously that thing sits pretty low to the road. They have a tendency to crack. People accidentally hit things, pull over things. Uh, this one's all in one piece. Uh, 396 designation there on the uh, driver's side front fender. Uh, above that goes a, uh, a stripe that goes down the um, uh, front fender and then of course onto the driver door. Uh, raised white letter Coopers are brand new. Uh, we put those on there. When we bought the car, it had a dated set of tires on it, so we uh, ended up replacing them. They're, you know, got a couple miles on them. Uh, Five-star American racing wheels, uh, they're in really nice shape. Uh, you'll be able to see still shots there of the uh, wheels on our website. Paint on the top of the fender and on the lower portion of the fender. Real, real nice shape. You see there, obviously, the, the lower fenders sit pretty low to the road there. They take road debris, rocks, chips, you know, things happen, um, rust, but uh, this one's in nice shape. No blistering, bubbling down there. Uh, real nice Camaro. Uh, in silver with the SS badging there on the driver's side front fender. Everything there is in good shape. How about the uh, front windshield? I don't see anything cracked or chipped on that. Uh, we'll get a better look uh, when we're inside the car shooting out. Sometimes I'll miss things under the fluorescent lighting that I can see better under the uh, natural lighting of the outdoors. Uh, it does have a single chrome mirror mounted on the driver door. Uh, we can mount one on the passenger side. Uh, we have them in stock if you'd like, you know, depending on the deal, it may or may not be included. Um, driver door fitment. Take a step back 
from the car for a moment and check that out. Uh, real nice fitment both to the front fender and to the rear quarter. Uh, everything lines up nicely. Uh, it's nice and flush there to not only the lower rocker but also to you know the lower rear quarter. Door fitment's good, body lines are good. We'll take a shot down the side of the body here when we are in the uh, corner of the uh, uh, rear quarter here in the driver's side. The vinyl top is in nice shape both on top and uh, down low. So generally where you have problems with these vinyl tops are uh, down low here where it meets the uh, rear quarter and there's no uh, blistering, bubbling, any kind of indication of rust. Uh, same thing under the lower window. We'll show you that here in just a couple moments. Let's take a look inside the vehicle. Uh, okay, so uh, let's start with the door panels. Uh, not discolored, not torn, not warped. Uh, vinyl armrest in good shape. Same thing, not discolored, torn, warped, anything like that. Uh, take a look inside. Uh, black vinyl, um, center console, four speed as I already mentioned. Uh, dash pad looks to be in fantastic condition. Uh, driver uh, door opens and the dome light illuminates up there in what looks to be a brand new uh, headliner or newer headliner. Put the driver's seat forward and um, vinyl in the back seat, you know, both on the uh, door panels or the uh, rear quarter panels there and on the seat itself look to be uh, new or newer. Uh, floor mats are brand new. Carpetings, again, well, the floor mats are brand new because we bought them because it didn't have any, but the carpeting looks to be in real, real nice shape, looks to be newer uh, also. Uh, driver's seat, not torn, not ripped, not discolored. Get the Camaro floor mat out there. I told you those are brand new. And uh, carpeting underneath in real nice shape. Three pedal car, like I said. Um, does have a, a tack here on the steering wheel and some aftermarket gauges that we'll find out if they work on the test drive when we, when we drive it. Center console's in good shape. It's a nice looking car both inside and out. We'll take a closer look at the interior when we are on the test drive in the car. So I told you we take a shot down the driver's side of the car. Uh, the rear quarter's nice and straight. Driver door's nice and straight. Fender, uh, everything lines up real nicely. There's no waves or uh, deviations down the side of the car. It's a real nice straight car. Uh, clarity in the window glass here on the uh, rear of the car uh, is probably one of the best I've seen. You know, a lot of the first gen Camaras, six, seven, eight, and nine, um, you know, People don't uh, mask off the window when they're sandblasting, welding, whatever. You get a lot of uh, scratches or you know uh, clarity issues, but this one's nice, uh, both from the glass and uh, also the uh, chrome molding that goes around it. Another problematic area on your vinyl tops are behind the rear window, where you know the car might have leaked water at one time or whatever. But see, this is nice and solid. No no rust bubbles. No uh, areas of concern there. Uh, deck lid lines up nicely to the rear quarters and obviously it has a uh, uh, spoiler mounted on the uh, deck lid. SS badging there in the center of the rear uh, valance mounted underneath the uh, turnkey there for the trunk. Brake lights, reverse lights, uh, chrome bumper again uh, all in good shape. Chrome bumper looks as nice as the, uh, the front bumper. Both look newer if not brand new. Trunk mat, no jack, no spare. We didn't take it out of there. So um, what you see is what you get. If there's a jack and a spare in the photo shoot and the video shoot, you get one. If there's not, you don't. I promise we're not hoarding spares and jacks. It's just the way it is. Uh, underneath uh, the uh, trunk mat, you can see the uh, trunk's nice and solid. No rust holes, rot holes there. Trunk mat looks to be newer as well. You can tell by the back there. And then of course the top of it's not all heavily discolored or stained. So um, that looks to be in good shape as well. Passenger side, about the same as a driver with the exception of that uh, mirror. So uh, the rear quarter's nice and straight. Your vinyl top's in real nice condition. You know, another, um, sometimes it's attention to small little details, another uh, cool thing about this car is the uh, molding that somebody has chose to use going around the vinyl top. It has that silver on top, silver on the bottom, and then black in the center. It also accents the car very nicely. 
The raised white letter Coopers make the car pop. Uh, the American Racing wheels, you know, really look good. Uh, American Racing has always uh, had a nice wheel, so those look good on the car. Um, passenger door, same as the driver. Door's nice and straight. Door fitment's good. You can see your body lines. Hopefully you can see, you know, body lines here all the way down, uniform. They line up nicely with the front fender. There's no uh, chips here where the doors ever hit the front fender or anything like that. Take a look in the passenger side of the car. Uh, door panel, great shape. Again, the uh, passenger's uh, seat there, bucket seat, nice condition. Again, the interior looks to be somewhat newer. Um, your pull handle, your dash pad, everything's in good shape. You got that wood grain around that four-speed shifter. That's a nice condition, not bubbled, faded. <coughs> Even the door jams, check out the door jams. That, see that Fisher body there, that door sill, that's nice and silver. Uh, door jams are nicely painted, not chipped. Uh, again, SS Camaro badging there on the passenger side front fender, just as it was on the driver's side. Uh, that cool uh, stripe that goes above the 396 onto the dry, uh, dry, uh, passenger side fender and passenger side door, just as it was on the driver's side, mirroring the driver's side. This is a sweet car. This one will go quickly. We are going to take it out and we're gonna throw it on the rack. We'll put it in the air and check out the undercarriage and then after that we'll do a short little test drive in the car and I'll show you guys how the car runs out. I do encourage you to come in person to look at any classic car that you might be interested in in our showroom. We're gonna be asking good money for this car because 69 Camaros pull a high dollar and you know one of this combination with steering, brakes, big block, four speed, this color combination, it's a very desirable car. So um, you know, these are 30, 40, 50, 60 year old cars. Uh, they're all going to have their flaws, their tendencies, their deficiencies, weaknesses. Some of them we try to show you in this video presentation. However, you know, I can only cram so much information into a 20-minute uh, time allotment. But if you visit our showroom, you can spend an hour, two hours, three hours. Uh, we'll be happy to pull the car outside for you. You can look at the paint real nice, real good in the sunshine. Uh, we will throw it on a rack for you. We have two here in our showroom in Daytona. Uh, you put it up in the air, you can check out the floor pans, the undercarriage, bottom of the motor, bottom of the transmission, tires, uh, suspension components. We'll let you drive it. You can see what kind of uh, power the motor has, how the tranny shifts, uh, you know, how the car steers, how a car stops. Familiarize yourself with your purchase. Um, we do it every day here in our showroom. Uh, we enjoy doing it. And, um, you know, we, we'd like to uh, educate you. Maybe you're, if you're first class car experience, we'd like to educate you on, you know, some of the expectations of owning a classic car, some of the do's and don'ts, you know, all that kind of stuff. We do a ton of sight unseen business. At the end of the day, we are an internet-based company. We sell uh, a lot of cars between our two showrooms. And here, personally, me in Daytona, uh, you know, if we sell 25 cars, 30 cars, I might meet three or four buyers face-to-face, -face, and the rest is done sight unseen through bank wire, cashier's check, uh, however. so. Uh, it's not, I, I'm a sight unseen buyer, I get it. I don't really go to the store. I, last time I bought a vehicle and actually went to a dealership, it's been a long time. Um, but uh, again, it's a classic car, so you might wanna come and put your hands on and, and put eyeballs on what you're, uh, what you're buying for yourself. This way you're not just taking my word for it, you know exactly what you're getting when the car arrives because you were here in person and you went over the car yourself. Let's take it outside, we'll see which racks open out back, throw it in the air, check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do my favorite part, and I'm sure your favorite part. We'll take it on a test drive and we'll show you guys how the car runs out. Underneath our 1969 Chevy Camaro, we have disc brakes up front of our big block car. Uh, so looking up at the, uh, the motor and the oil pan, you know, anytime you see fresh paint on a block and on a pan, uh, it usually tells you that, you know, the motor's been out somewhat recently and redone. I told you in the showroom, I do not have any history on the motor, um, you know, in terms of when the rebuild was done, but uh, it does look like it's been freshened up somewhat recently, like within the last five years, I would uh, imagine. Uh, frame rails on the car look good, both driver and passenger side. Headers look good. I don't see any uh, signs of uh, oil splash or oil blow onto the headers. 
uh, nor do I see any uh, rust holes, rod holes, pin holes in the headers themselves, so that's good. Um, frame rails on the car look good. Cross member supporting the trans up looks to be in good shape. Okay, so this car does have, uh, you know, if, well, let's continue on with the exhaust here since we're there. It goes to, uh, back to a wide pipe uh, MagnaFlow exhaust on the vehicle. So on the driver's side here, we do have a sectioned in floor pan. So you guys normally see me do videos and you say, you know, you see us do all one solid piece. Um, however, this one has had a section of pan put in it. I don't understand why they did it this way. It's a nicely done job, like all the, the floor pans, you know, they're not laid on top of one another um, and they're solid, you know, the whole thing's solid. So I don't know why they did it. And oddly enough, the passenger side's all one piece. So maybe it just, you know, why would you do half a floor pan if you have the interior out of the car? And I don't know. Again, I can't explain why people do some of the things they do, but nonetheless, it is a nice car underneath. It, uh, the floor pans are good, both driver and passenger side. Um, whoever did it did a pretty nice job, but there is silicone where you can see that they, they you know, patched a section of the driver's side pan. Um, drum brakes in the rear. Uh, it does have a 12 bolt. Uh, leaf springs look good. Um, so the gas tank looks to be newer. Uh, the rear quarters are nice. Uh, it's metal to metal. Drop downs on the rear quarters are good. You can see your little lip there. If there was any kind of bondo work, there'd be a big lip there. Or, you know, the, the rear quarter here would be full of uh, mud or bondo. And it's not. Like I told you in the showroom, the Cooper Cobras are brand new. Uh, the ones we had on there were dated, so you can see the little blue and pink lines. They are brand new tires on there. Not even, uh, well, however many miles it is from our service center to our showroom, probably about four miles, five miles. That's about how many miles of brand new uh, sneakers have on them. And you can see back here in the uh, trunk pan area, uh, in the, where the uh, back seat meets the trunk pan there, that's all in good shape too, no rust rot. You can see the rear frame rails are nice and solid both driver and passenger side. Nice 69 Camaro. Um, before we put it on the ground, take it on a test drive, let's discuss our payment options. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check or bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfer is usually the most common form of payment simply because it puts the funds there the same day and we can start processing your vehicle for shipment that much sooner. If you are financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do a five to 10 year loan on our classics. 10% minimum down, no matter what your score is. If you walk on water, you're still gonna have to put 10% down. You can put more down if you'd like to, but they're gonna ask you to come out of pocket 10%. So if it's a $50,000 car, you're coming out of pocket five grand. Then they'll finance us the remainder. Um, with, you know, with approved credit, of course, you're gonna look at your credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, things of that nature. Um, once we are funded, whether you're cash or finance, uh, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. Uh, we check the lug nuts, you know, check that oil pan gasket, uh, check the headlights, wipers, uh, reverse lights, all that fun stuff. They are old cars. Anything can start leaking, can stop functioning at any time. So we give it a good once over uh, prior to shipping. Uh, and then once the guys tell us it's green lighted, we uh, call a carrier for pickup. Generally, we can have a driver here within 48 hours. However, if you are in a more difficult destination, it might take us three, four, five business days. But bear with us. I promise you, um, usually the longest uh, time is your end of things, either getting a bank wire done or getting your uh, paperwork in order for financing. We work quickly once we're paid. We get them through inspection. We get them through detail. We get them on a truck, and we get them heading your direction. So, um, you know, the, the whole process is a lot faster than you, you might think. And then delivery time, of course, going to be where you're located in the United States or in the world, um, how many other vehicles are on board, you know, weather conditions, driver sleep times, all that fun stuff. So, but again, everything happens a lot sooner than you think. I, I get a lot of comments, wow, that happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yep, it does. Let's set this 69 Camaro down on the ground. We will take it on a little test drive and show you guys how this big block 396 four-speed runs. Okay, inside our 1969 Chevy Camaro, we have a horn. We have turn signals, driver's side. 
passenger side. Uh, how about our wipers? Fuel gauge is functioning. We put 40 bucks worth of gas in it and it brought it up. How about our uh, uh, odometer, 71,470. True mileage unknown, mileage on the title is exempt. Exceeds mechanical limits, whatever you want to call it. Um, tack, you got an aftermarket sun tack mounted on the steering wheel. Tack's functioning. How about the radio? On the front lines of truth, stay here. Radio functions. Um, what else? Showed you wipers, turn signals, horn, um, fuel gate. Uh, so temp is not up yet. We're in a big block Chevrolet, so we will keep an eye on that. And then we got good oil pressure there for our aftermarket gauges down low. Dash pad's in good shape. Headliner to me looks to be newer. Same with those sail panels back there. They look brand new. Center console's in pretty good shape. We'll see how our uh, four-speed shifts here. Wood grain looks good. Uh, window, windshield, front windshield looks good looking out from the inside. Uh, rear view mirror's brand new. Awesome. Let's take it on drive and see how it runs. Inside our 69 Camaro, first of all, the speedometer, if we can get way over to the left side of the steering wheel, speedometer's functioning. It's accurate. It's not bouncing around. Steering in the car is real nice. You let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight. The response in the wheel is nice. Pretty tight steering. Uh, you have a real nice uh, ride. Uh, no vibrations out of the motor, transmission, shifter, not popping out of gear, not shaking excessively back and forth. Uh, brakes are good on the car. We'll show you that here in just a couple minutes when we come to the red light. I am in fourth right now. Uh, it is a, uh, this, this car likes RPM, so we're going to uh, take it through the gears here when we hit the corner. I'm not going to get too carried away, but I will show you, uh, you know, we'll hit at least fourth gear. Um, 170 on the temp looks like it I'm trying to look down and keep my eyes on the road at the same time but nonetheless uh, you know this time of year in, in Florida big block Chevy you should be you know 190 200 you're okay uh, they run a little a little hotter than uh, normal like a, a small block 327 350 something like that stopping car stops just like it should red light Got good idle. Our uh, tack here is uh, pretty steady. Car's not stalling out. Oh, running through some gears. A 75 and fourth coming down. No hands, no shaking, shimmying, vibrations in the front there, tires, engine, suspension, uh, it's all nice and tight. Uh, the car, it, I don't have any you know, records on the rebuild, anything like that, like I told you guys in the showroom. However, um, it does feel to me like the car's got a little bit of a cam to it, uh, simply because it likes fuel, it likes RPM, you know, and, it, and when you're at an idle, you can feel a little bit of a, you know, won't, 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 like it's, it's cammed up a little. Again, I didn't build the motor. We didn't build the motor. We don't know the internals of it. It is a big block 396. It, uh, it will get up and go. It's a great looking car, great color combination, the silver, the black, the raised white letter Coopers, uh, you know, black vinyl top. It's a very uh, intriguing, very desirable color combination for a 69 Camaro. Again, we're uh, still... Yeah, 170 ish so we're running good uh, cars cooling very well again here we are at traffic light okay um, again we're idling I don't know about 800 rpm uh, which is about normal and uh, again not stalling out not uh, spitting and sputtering I don't have to keep my foot on the gas to you know make the car run 69 Camaros are a hot commodity this one especially, seeing as how it's a four-speed, it's a big block, it's the right color combination. 
um, center console car. Good stuff. A lot of interior components new. You can tell the headliner, you know, the sail panels, the carpeting, the uh, floor mats. Good stuff. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hankster's.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this 69 Camaro includes shipping on an enclosed carrier in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a powertrain warranty. Thank you very much. 69. Thank you. What's that? 396. See? Told you it's the right car. Now, where was I? Anyways, we're going to put all the photos up on our website that you see of this car that we took today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. Again, at full retail price, the car includes shipping on an enclosed carrier, as well as that powertrain warranty I was discussing before that guy took to our car so kindly. Powertrain warranty is good on engine, transmission, and rear end. It does not cover brakes, starters, batteries, alternators. If the oil pan gasket starts leaking, that's on you. We don't pay anything outside the realm of the warranty. However, it does cover major mechanical breakdown should one occur on the uh, powertrain. The warranty is good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. You don't have to bring it back to Florida, to Hankster's Hot Rods, to a special muscle car showroom or muscle car service center, restoration center. You can probably take it to that same person that's working on your daily driver. Our full retail price program is turnkey. You get the uh, security of the warranty. You get the shipping handled by us. We contact the driver. We pay the driver. We make all the arrangements. We make sure the car gets to you. At a negotiated cost, yes, the car is somewhat negotiable. The warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the uh, shipping comes off. Uh, we can turn you on to somebody that can help you facilitate the shipping. You will just make all the arrangements. You decide whether you want open or enclosed shipping. You know, open's a little bit cheaper if you want to go that route. Me, I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, that's up to you. you save a couple bucks on an open carrier. Then uh, you'll pay the driver on delivery with cash or with a check. They do not accept credit cards. We would love to earn your business. Add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. We do export these vehicles as well, and we can handle that whole process for you from start to finish if you need that. Hangster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, sunny Daytona Beach. And one last time, our website is hangsters.com. Please check us out. I can assure you that the 69 Camaro will not be around long, so you might want to call or text or email uh, soon. down from 85. Like I said this car, I don't know how many horsepower it has. Um, you know, it is pushing pretty good. I don't have a dyno. I don't have a dyno sheet, but uh, this is a stronger 396 of the ones I've driven. Hangsters.com. Check us out.